examples of groups so before the examples we just remind that a uh, group g having some binary operation star uh, is said to be a group it it satisfied following four axioms that is uh, that it it satisfy closure property that if we have two elements and its binary operation of those two elements also belongs to g then associative property that we can change the brackets and then identity element g should must contain identity element uh, and g must contain inverse then uh, the first example is z set of integers and the binary operation is addition so if we add two integers the answer is again an integer so the clear property holds is it associative yes it is if we add three uh, integers and change its brackets the answer will remain the same so associative property holds what about identity additive identity additive identity in z is zero and uh, what about inverse so if we have any element then we have its inverse additive inverse in set of integers if we have five then its additive inverse is minus five if we have minus six then its additive uh, inverse is plus six so all four axioms of a group hold so z is a group under addition then what about z uh, group under subtraction that if we have binary operation subtraction then is is it uh, uh, close clear property holds yes if we subtract two integers then its answer is again an integer so clear property holds what about associative no associate associative property does not holds for set of integers because if we change the brackets the answer may change so since associative property does not hold so we don't need to check further axioms so z is not a group under subtraction what about z under multiplication so we can check it so clear property holds yes if we multiply two integers it is again integer so clear property holds associative property uh, yes for multiplication associative property also holds uh, what about identity multiplicative identity in z that is equal to one so one uh, belongs to z so multiplicative identity also uh, exists in z what about inverse can we have inverse of every element in z for example if we consider one yes one has its multiplicative inverse in z but what about two or three or four no they don't have their inverse multiplicative inverse in z so inverse does not exist for all elements in z so that is why this z is not a group under multiplication uh, what about q under addition on the same lines that we have uh, we have checked for z q is also a group under addition uh, what about q under multiplication uh, can it be a group all axioms holds uh, what about uh, uh, inverse if we have for example 4 then its multiplicative inverse is 1 over 4 that also exists in q but there is an element in q which uh, do not have its multiplicative inverse what is that element that element is 0 0 does not have its multiplicative inverse in q so q is not a group under multiplication what about if we uh, if we ex exclude this zero from q is it group under multiplication yes it is uh, what about uh, set of complex numbers excluding zero under multiplication on the same lines yes it is a group under multiplication now our next example is a finite set and that finite set is one minus one iota minus iota and we want to see is it a group under multiplication to check such a set to be a group or not we can define Kelly's table and that Kelly's table is defined as the Kelly table of a group is a table with rows and columns labeled by the elements of the group where each entry is represented by a star b the entry in the row labeled by a and column labeled by b for example for this uh, same example 
the Kelly's table uh, for this example computed in the following way that first uh, we have this table in which this columns are labeled by elements of the group 1 minus 1 iota minus iota and also in the row we have uh, this 1 minus 1 iota minus 1 and then we computed it as that 1 multiplied to 1 this is 1 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 and then 1 into iota this is equal to this iota and 1 into this minus iota this is equal to minus iota on the same lines we get this minus 1 1 minus iota 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 minus iota minus 1 1 and then minus iota into minus 1 minus 1 then iota minus iota into minus 1 that is equal to plus iota 1 and then minus 1 so uh, from this table we see that uh, uh, this is a group because there is a result that if in a Kelly's table each row has no repetition of the elements of the group also each column does not have any repetition of the elements of the group then this Kelly's table is then that set is a, a group under that binary operation then uh, associativity we can check from this table and then identity see this uh, uh, one is the multiplicative identity and what about inverse from the table we can see that there is an inverse for every element for example inverse of 1 is 1 inverse of minus 1 is minus 1 inverse of iota inverse of iota is minus iota and inverse of minus iota is this 1 this iota okay so by, by this scalar table we can see that this is a group this set is a group under multiplication